We have a 2008 Chevrolet Cobalt. We're going to go through the steps in replacing the fuel pump. We'll start by bleeding the pressure off the system using our pressure relief valve on our gauge. Be sure and capture fuel into a safe container. Before beginning any repair, disconnect the negative battery cable. In order to do a proper fuel pump replacement, we need to clean the inside of the tank and that will require the removal of the tank. At the rear of the tank, disconnect the electrical connections, the vent line, and loosen the filler hose. We'll remove the filler hose as we lower the tank. Disconnect the emissions line and the fuel lines. There may be some residual fuel. Be sure and capture this in a safe container. With the tank properly supported, remove the tank straps. As you lower the tank, work the fuel filler hose off. It's a good idea to clean the outside of the tank before removing the module assembly. This will keep any excessive debris from getting in the tank. Disconnect the electrical connection. Remove the tank locking ring using a non-ferrous brass punch, turning it counterclockwise. Inspect the locking ring, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. As you remove the module assembly from the tank, keep in mind there's a reservoir that will hold residual fuel. Be sure and capture this in a safe container. At this point, we need to drain the remaining fuel into a safe container and then clean the inside of the tank. We want to be sure the tank is as clean as possible to allow a clean environment for the fuel pump. With the inside of the tank thoroughly cleaned, we're ready to install the new AirTex fuel pump module. Install the float arm onto the sender assembly. Install the new tank seal into the groove in the top of the tank. As you lower the module into the tank, be sure and position the lines in the appropriate location. And position the locking ring into place. With the module fully seated into the tank, turn the locking ring clockwise. Make sure that the locking ring is fully seated into location. Connect the electrical connection and place the lines into location on the tank. As you raise the tank into position, be sure and work the lines over the top of the rear axle. With the tank in this position, reinstall the fuel filler, emissions line, electrical connections, vent line, and fuel lines. With the tank fully raised into the vehicle, reconnect the tank strap. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Cycle a key two to three times in order to charge the system. Start the vehicle and monitor fuel pressure, making sure it's within vehicle specification. Now before we remove our pressure gauge, we'll shut the vehicle off and bleed the pressure using our pressure gauge, making sure to capture any fuel into a safe container.